Well, good afternoon, my creative friends. Welcome to May 2nd. And it's beginning to look like summer out there. The grass is green and the flowers are popping and the temperatures are changing. So it's pretty exciting. Um, we have had a, a, about a week of rain here in Massachusetts, but um, it's starting to clear up. I think the storm is passing. So we're on the mend. <laughs> Um, today we're going to make a card with the Dainty Delight card set from Stampin' Up. Um, I have both the stamps and the dies, which I'm going to be using, so I wanted to show you that. Um, if you're not familiar with Stampin' Up's sets, um, you buy your stamps separately from the die sets. The die sets are wonderful, though. They're always, they always give you extra pieces um, that go along with the, with the stamp set. And... Uh, this is an amazing one. Look at how many how many dies are in here. So um, I am going to be using both, and uh, let's get started. I wanted to tell you the dimensions of the cutting that you need to do. Okay, uh, I don't think I have room for this under the camera, so I'm just going to put it to the side. This is one of the cards that I've done uh, with this set, and so it's. Um, I'm just going to change up the colors a little bit. Okay. So we start with the base and that's eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a qu four and a quarter. I'm using purple for the base. This is a liner for the focal. So this is white. I'm using white um, and that's four by five and a quarter. And then this one, I had to measure this one. This is another layer that I've added to it, as you can see. Um, and this one is three and th three and a half by four and three quarters. And I'll have all these cutting uh, dimensions um, in the d details of the video, okay? So you can go back and look, or you can just back up if you want to look for the for the measurements. Okay, for the inside, we're also going to do um, a solid piece of white, two and three quarters by four and a quarter. Okay. So I <clears throat> wanted to show you some of the coloring, but I'm going to put a little bit of this together first so that we'll be ready for it. So, so this is the first layer. Like this. Hope I'm still in the camera. <clears throat> excuse me. Please excuse my squeaky voice. I'm getting over some surgery. And this is the top focal layer. And I've pre-cut these so that we save some time here. I love the scalloped edge. I think it's really pretty, it really adds to it. Okay, so let's do a little coloring. <clears throat> putting this aside for a minute. I started some of the coloring just to save time so we're not you're not watching me color the whole time. I've put some of the green on and these were stamped first and then I cut them out with the dies. But if you didn't have the die set you could fussy cut around. to put some more green on this one. Oops. Okay. And then I thought I'd add a few different colors to it. Um, this one I'm going to put a little pink. 
these are not from Stampin' Up. I've I've had a set of oh, oh hoo hoo markers, um, alcohol markers for a long time, so I'm using them up. But um, Stampin' Up has really nice colors, and they match the papers. If you want to buy the coordinating cardstock. Um, but if you don't have it, you can use whatever colors you have, whatever papers you have. The process is the same. Okay, that's one. And then this one, we're going to do a little bit different. I'm going to use blue, turquoise blue, because we're going to do one of those flowers. and It will coordinate with it. I like coloring the on the cards. I think it really adds to the effect of it being handmade. It's a nice touch. In fact, I've given cards before and they say, did you make this? <laughs> I'm like, yes. Um, so they kind of have a hint when they see it, but... It's nice, though. Oh, there's a leaf I missed. Okay. That's for that one. And I was going to really make this full, but I think I'll leave this one out because this this is these fill it up pretty good when you add the green to it. So that was that one die that there wasn't a stamp because it died. It cuts out all the leaves of it, of it too. So let's move this just so we have a little room to work. Okay. And I need to cut one more piece for the inside. Um, so we're going to glue these on. And I've also cut out some of the other pieces. It's a very dimensional, three-dimensional looking card. I love it. Um, I'm using liquid glue and I also like to use my silicone mat for that so that I don't get glue all over my work space. Okay. And Sometimes if you do it on the space you got your you have your card on there, you might get it on the card too. So it's good to keep it separate. This is a oops, you probably can't see this. Let's see. Move this in. It's kind of a small work area right now. And I'm just doing the leaves, um, which will hold down this nicely. I've done it before, so. And I like to, even though it's three-dimensional, I like to glue the whole thing down so it doesn't catch on anything. Just looking for my tweezers here. And what I'm going to do is put it just like this. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to add the flowers. And I'm going to glue these both up because I might want to move them around a little bit. Okay. It's good to use the tweezers. Then you don't get your fingers all glue and then you touch your card and leave glue on the card. So it's a good idea to use the tweezers. And these look, you can just do anything you want with these. You can move them all around. You can make a bouquet. You can... 
we're going to be putting the sentiment across the bottom which is going to cover uh, the stems on the bottom which will help okay all right and now we have a few more little flowers to put on let me show you those Okay, so this is a daisy. And they're the die they're dies for all of these pieces in the die set. And um when I first started buying the sets, sometimes I just started with the stamps and then I knew I should have bought the, the dies with them because it really helps, um, especially when you've got a bunch of intricate pieces like these. You know, if they weren't so um, tinily detailed, you you could do a lot of fussy cutting, but these I think look better if you just cut them out with the dies. Kind of put them anywhere. They look great anywhere. <laughs> okay. Um, these little brown pieces are the centers of the daisies. There's a round one for the whole daisy and a kind of a triangle for the um, half, half of a daisy. And it fits right in there. It's nice. That was a round. Made a round. Yeah. Okay, so now what we're going to do is put the sentiment, and I didn't stamp it yet, but I want to get the sentiment out. I think I used a sentiment from a different set because I wanted to put just a thin um, greeting that didn't need a really wide piece of paper. So this is the beautiful thistle set and it has some nice sayings in it really pretty saying so uh, I'm going to use let's see what fits I think this one right here thinking of you and I like to do the and before I before I um, print that I'm going to color it the strip a little bit to give it some more dimension it's not just white yeah. so let's see And I'm going to put that one on dimensions, um, dimensionals to stand it up a little bit. And 
you know, like I say, I'm putting them at the, at the bottom to cover the edges of the um, flowers, the, the very bottom of the flowers, so it doesn't look like they're just floating. Okay, I'm also going to put a couple of gems on it just to bring it out a little bit of sparkle. These are from Stampin' Up. They're garden gems, really pretty. Okay, and um, I needed to cut. I need to cut one more piece of white for the inside, or yellow, wh whichever. Um, and I'll do that a little later. So now I'm just going to fold it and crease it. I like to work on them open and flat. Um, it's just you don't have to deal with the side popping up on you when you're working. Okay, so that's the difference, the colors. I And I also did another one where I embossed the background with one of our embossing folders. Um, that's the gingham embossing folder, which I think is really pretty. So there's so many different ways you can ch change it up. Uh, and it's a beautiful, beautiful set. I love it. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you'd like to see more, more of them, um, just uh, look for me on face, Facebook and YouTube. And if you order from me, uh, from me using my uh, host code for the month of May, uh, your order has to be fifty dollars or over before tax and shipping then I can send you a free card kit, all cut out, ready to assemble. Okay? If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comments, and I will um, get back to you as quick as I can. All right, so happy stamping, and I hope I see you again.